Well, since this scandal broke 24 hours ago, the crescendo of voices calling for resignation continues to grow louder virtually by the minute. As you mentioned, Nuri Martinez stepped down from her post as city council president, voted in by her colleagues. But her critics, and there are many, including the mayor, senators, Rick Caruso, Karen Bass, say that's just a start. This controversy has shaken the foundations of L.A. City Hall. Nuri Martinez stepping down from her role as council president, but not as council person, and issuing a second apology, reading in part, I take responsibility for what I said, and there are no excuses for those comments. I'm so sorry. In leaked audio from a website, Knock LA, and reported by the LA Times, it's an October 21st meeting about redistricting Martinez, fellow council members Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo, and a labor leader. Martinez cursed DA George Gascon. So you'll start seeing them line up. She then used a Spanish term for monkey in criticizing Councilman Mike Bonin's adopted son, who is black. They're raising him like a little white kid, which I was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. There's a lot more. Meantime, all three have apologized. Bonin and his husband, among many, who say that's a start, but they should all resign from the city council. We are appalled, angry, and absolutely disgusted, Bonin's statement said. It's vile, abhorrent, and utterly disgraceful. Numerous organizations and people have condemned this language and also called on Martinez and the others to resign, including L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti, U.S. Senator Alex Padilla, and fellow city council person Marquise Harris Dawson. What we heard on the tape disqualifies them for service on the Los Angeles City Council. They have forfeited their leadership. And both candidates in this historic mayoral election in Los Angeles have called for resignations. Rick Caruso saying, I do believe that in their hearts they are better people than the vile comments we heard on that tape, but they also know they're role models and they've let our city down. And Karen Bass, Los Angeles must move in a new direction, and that is not possible until the four individuals caught on that tape resign from their offices immediately. Will that happen? Most political insiders that I've checked with seem to think it's a question of when, not if, Alex and Christine. Mayor Garcetti talking about accountability, talking about healing. Now, Gil Cedillo has already been voted out by uh, the public. He's on his way out of the city hall, but Kevin DeLeon is really in his first term, and Nuri Martinez is a fixture there, again, elected unanimously as president. So when I say this has shaken the foundation of L.A. City Hall, it's really not an exaggeration. Live downtown, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.